unconditioning yourself is a challenge because we've been embedded with a lot of beliefs that really don't relate to us or that are unsupporting and pessimistic and just pure negative sometimes. And it takes a lot of work and discipline and self-love in that process. And, and, but it's, you're capable of unconditioning yourself. It's, it's totally capable. And you love it when you really start processing the smallest of any condition that you feel isn't serving you. And it could be various things, so many different things that you may have grown up with and you've never felt comfortable with and trying to understand and comprehend why were you told this and why does it have to happen to you? And why, you know, it's just that why of the things that you felt weren't for you are going to happen to you. And it comes through family, friends, uh, <laughs> loved ones. <laughs> it just, it comes from past, past and past things that doesn't really relate to the present. And so a lot of times you feel like, well, that may have happened to grandma or great grandma, but that doesn't mean it's going to happen to me or why does it have to keep going? And we can uncondition ourselves with so much self-love and appreciation that we're here and we have this determined this diligence of and determination to feel good and we can feel good every day through every situation and even though it may be of unwanted and uncomfortable things or things that just happen repetitively and you can't understand why it's obviously something we have to keep processing through but you can uncondition yourself to continue feeling the same way you can change up that feeling and you can unlearn something that has been embedded so deeply within and relearn the better part of you. And that's part of unconditioning yourself. And we condition a lot of things. We condition love. We condition um, how things should go about in our life. We condition uh, a job or how we want to work or how free we want to be or so much part of our life we try to be conditional of and which is controlling which we don't have control of but we we sometimes put conditions on things and we don't realize it and then we don't want someone to be conditioned towards us and so a way for you to be unconditioned is you start with unconditioning your love your your gifts your purpose who you are, just be just limitless and loving and giving of your love and who you are. And there's no tit for tat because that's sort of a condition. It's like if you if I give you love, you've got to give me the type of same type of love back. And everyone's different. And everyone's love is different. So you got to really be soft about it and and really appreciate the other being's way. And they connect when they connect. And if they don't connect, they don't connect. You just really work with your feelings and, and really don't put a condition or a staple or being strict and tense on any situation in your life. It's so freeing to, to live unconditioned. So in your process of your journey, lighten up and... And really give give yourself some room. Give everything some some stillness. You know, sometimes you do have to get still to just ask yourself, what am I conditioned about? What am I being so resistant about? And it'll just come to you. And it may take some time. It's not going to be swiftly. It's, it's definitely going to take some time and it's going to be a continuous thing. And you're always going to, Find some other situation that you've got to just realize, okay, 
Am I doing this or am I, am I limiting myself? And we can't be hard on ourselves as if we do because we are human and we have expectations. And even though we have to be light on that too, <laughs> it's, it's just a part of our beingness, but you just start to really become soft about it. And living unconditionally is so much freer and non-resistant. And you don't take things personal. It gets so less personal. <laughs> and you do become more pro-thoughtful and you master your feelings more because it's all... Everything is so related together and it all still goes back to feeling good and <laughs> you and love of self, you know, you're empowered by your love of self and you naturally start to become unconditioned because you start to feel those things that you felt conditioned towards of how you felt it should be or go and feel and then you realize that it wasn't that necessary and that you don't know what else someone else is going through so fall back on the conditions of they should be there for you or they should do this for you because you're conditioning the situation and you're not giving it your all because you're being resistant and I'm not trying to put the finger on you or <laughs> I'm not putting you down because we all do it and we continue to do it and we fall into that situation sometimes, but you will, you'll start to feel it and you'll, and you'll just, you just want to take care of yourself more and love yourself more. And you just become, when you become more unconditional with yourself, you definitely become less conditional in your environment, in the, in the external world. And so work lovingly and passionately with your journey, with your purpose, with your change and your growth and your empowerment. And know that you can feel good every day and that you can be, you can uncondition your, yourself from the things and the feelings and the the words <laughs> and that have been placed upon you that you had no choice at one time, but you have a choice now. And it only just serves you better. And I hope you take this just with heart. And I'm saying this with love because it really helps. It it makes you just feel lighter and refreshed and you just appreciate yourself so much more and love of self just radiates more and you you feel more connected with you and your source and your infinite beings and they have such unconditional love for you that you you feel that and you and you want to you want to experience that in the external world, which is kind of on a, 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 a trippy situation because everyone is different and not everyone is in the same level as you. So that gets tricky. But I'm long on this and I'm going to let you go. But just take care of yourself. Feel good. Work at yourself lovingly, softly, and understandingly. Understanding. And um, keep feeling good. Till the next time. <laughs>